And I'm happy I did it. And maybe I'll do it again. No, you won't. Maybe I will. I'm crazy. You're also uninsured. <laughs> and I'm, I'm fragile and uninsured. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am 29 minutes away from being finished here. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> that's a pessimistic way to look no, at it. I'm a VIP. You're a VIP? Mm -hmm. A very important person? You know, it's funny. Like Very Irish person. Oh, very intelligent person. <laughs> um, very integral person to this show, just as our boy Frank is right here behind us wearing his snowboard and goggles. He just got back from a big old skiing trip. Did he? Yeah. Skiing? Yeah. He was yeah. skiing with ski poles uh, and ski skids? He was. Do you have anything <laughs> against that? Uh, it's just for the rich people. You know what? I went. Oh, wait, I'll come back to. We'll come back to the skiing. Okay. Oh, VIP, 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 VIP. You hear it a lot. Yeah. Um, you're VIP pass. Yeah, I'm. I'm a, I'm a VIP. Uh huh. Very important person. It's kind of silly. Yeah, it <laughs> is. <laughs> I mean, it like, is. When, like VIP sounds like official. Right. But when like, imagine if we never shortened VIP. Right. It would sound so ridiculous. I know. It really was. I'm in the very. Um, where's the door for very important people? <laughs> You're right. I didn't think of that. <laughs> it's like it's so it's so silly and and just, right. I'm a. Oh, oh, that guy over there. He's he's a very important. He's person. very important person. He's a very important person. He's a BMOC. One second. My apologies. My computer's right behind me, and you guys might not be able to see it through some like, smoke and mirrors of. Uh -huh. uh, technical tricks but yeah. we still have a covid divider which yes. is probably good because this is no longer a covid divider this um plexiglass yeah it's now a early childhood education divider because oh, i've been consistently I sick know. for the past three months yeah from these kids but um when the screen's on i am it would be kind of cool like i could have a it's kind of like a hologram oh yeah if i ever needed oh right um to read something like oh, off oh yeah What's no that? i thought if i wasn't here you could just bounce my image off of it well, that'd be real sad. I'm not dead. Oh, yeah, just... not in your imagination. <sighs> uh, and neither in mine. So, skiing, snowboarding, all of the above. I Sledding. went. I went um, to the mountains. The great Appalachian Mountains. Pocono. To the mountains, to the prairie, to the ocean. Oh, I... I went to the... With po snow. I went to the Pocono Mountains um, recently. Mountains and Pocono. I went snowboarding. Snowboarding, which I mean, you shouldn't I, have. I've been, yeah, because I'm, I'm all battered and bruised from just a hard li life to live. You had a bad knee, and people with bad knees don't usually strap their feet into a... Yeah, uh, into a locked position yeah. to then fly down to the mountain as fast as gravity and low friction and will take And just let ha what happens happen. Yeah, so I, um, you know, I've, been, I've been going snowboarding since I was young. Yeah. With that said... Meaning from the first time I went to the last time, not consecutively. Right. Like and big so breaks in between. Big breaks in between. The biggest being the last break I took. Because I not gone breaks. Because that sounds like you broke something. Big big hiatuses. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last one I went was pre COVID. Yeah. So that's two years ago. Because you know when COVID happened, and then it's like the winter after, and you're yeah. busy. Um. So yeah. So I haven't, I haven't been and so. I was already subpar then, got worse now. Pennsylvania is not a destination spot for skiing, right? No, they make snow here. They make snow. Yeah. We did not see, there was zero snow up until we got to okay. the resort. And resort's a strong word. Yeah. Um. So it's a lot of ice, you know, a couple yeah. people go down it. There's no fresh pow, as the kids say. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's very slick. I was falling a lot. This is all coming and it back. was dark. You were in the night. Yeah. This all comes back to the idea of skiing. All my life, I've had a chip on my shoulder because other people would have chips on their shoulders about how snowboarding is cool, right? Like yeah. it's like it's like the like you know right. like uh, West Side Story story. It's like the um. Oh. What are those people? What are the different groups? The Jets and the yeah Sharks. Or they're both bad, aren't they? I'm thinking of like the Outsiders. Like the greasers. The snowboarders are these people that you're thinking? The the greasers would be the snowboarders. Okay. Like they're cool and, and they slick their hair back. <laughs> and then the skiers would be the socias and the outsiders. Right, of course. Where it's like, 
oh, I, I'm going over to Aspen. Yeah. It, it was always cooler to be a snowboarder. Okay, yeah. And so that rhetoric has continued in my life. Okay. And so up until I was going with a bunch of kids, only one of them was snowboarding, the rest were skiing. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I they, thought... They're, 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 you know... Uh, they have equipment. It's it's right. It's a group of friends that they're more affluent than I. I mean, <laughs> okay. they, they grew up in houses that skied and traveled uh, okay. and well, we had traveled. dinner every night. We also did and not have dinner. So, <laughs> and so I was. I continued the rhetoric and was like, "You'll never catch me with two poles." And um, got there and I, and I wasn't as good as as I expected. And I was. Falling. You thought you were going to be good? Not good. I, I didn't think I. Would, you also. So I guess it's a longer story. When Why didn't you just do the tubing? That's so fun. When we first went down the mountain, all my friends went on this like it, you, the bunny slope was closed, and so there was like you go all at the ski lift. There's only one open because it's early in the season, and you go, and then there's a split off, and then they are all like, "We're going down this one," and it's like this thin passageway that goes down, and to the right of me is this wide open thing, and I'm like. They're all they're all like better than me. They're going down the harder one. Right. Jokes on them. And like I read a sign. I'm like lazy mile. That's easy. You, did, you read it wrong. And so I'm like, all right, guys, I'm right behind you. And I like jokes on you. I'm going down the easy hill, and I'll and I'll be at the bottom when you get down. I did not go down the easier. I was going down a, a, a fast and, and slick, hard Why run. Would, this is an upsetting story. Long story short, you I can was, hurt yourself. You know what no. happened? To, you know what happened to Sunny Bono? Well, she was skiing. It was a man, oh. and he was skiing. He skied into a tree, and he died. That's yeah. the other half of Cher. You know Sonny and Cher? No. You know Cher? How old do I look? But everyone knows Cher. And and also, like, a Kennedy did it as well. Well, they were all skiing, and that's the problem. <laughs> a long story short is I'm, I'm over the rhetoric of skiing is, oh, you're pretentious. You know what rich people are also? Smart. Smart. Why are you strapping both feet into the same binding and not having poles? Look, they're both bad. Yeah. Why didn't you just get in the inner tube and you go down the fun, fun slope? Wee! And, it, and, and and you went at night. It's even more fun. You're sitting and you're going fast. It's a huge slide of ice. And I'm happy I did it. And um, your friends can all sit. This is like, let's all be together. And then you all put on your, you know, your things and you're, and you're alone. I'm happy I did the, it. The, the, the tubing, you all get to see each other. I'm happy I pushed myself. Oh, um, gosh. I you're didn't. happy because you were okay, but. And I never put myself in harm's way. Um, yeah. That was my other problem. You know, I, I think a lot of the reason why I was falling, not I don't think, I know, is because there was a lack of confidence, especially after that first run. And then because of that, playing it safe can, in some things, can be worse than, you know what I mean? Like, it was only when I saw there's people coming behind me. Oh, gosh, I don't want to be in their way. Yeah. They can maneuver better than me. And so I would fall and wait for them to pass. But it's yeah. like, if I, if, you know, there's these people that like, and it turns out a lot of times, I mean, that's why you see like uh, the stereotype of like jocks have like rocks in their head. There's a certain part of like not overthinking that uh -huh. helps and things like yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, what is there to think about? You just slide down and don't stop. And then right. I'm there like calculating everything. Like, oh, well, I, you overthink it. The walrus is clapping for you. I did it. And I'm happy I did it. And maybe I'll do it again. No, you won't. Maybe I will. I'm crazy. You're also uninsured. Fragile. <laughs> and I'm, I'm fragile and uninsured. Um, <sighs> happy Lord Hanukkah. Had happy Hanukkah. It's it's the uh, start of Hanukkah, the um, Festival of Lights. I think it's the second or third night. I don't know. What day is it? We're uh, when It's Wednesday, 12-21-22. Yeah, we are, we are, it's the first day of winter. Oh, my gosh. Guys, This I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about weather with you uh, but yeah. this weekend and i can say that normally it's like do people care about philadelphia weather no i saw it online siberia a big old cold stream you know siberia yeah it's like near russia and like but if it's you're like bad you get banished to yeah, it yeah it's like the coldest most desolate place yeah how cold it is a big old air cold airflow snuck through the jet stream oh and i don't know how that how it does that but it seems pretty bad at ass. It slipped through the jet, jet stream. Yeah. Coming right for America. Shooting from the, the west has already been hit. And it's, it's shooting across. Like, this is going to be a cold Christmas Eve and Christmas for everyone in the country. So. Listen, 
my I think it's gonna be ten degrees. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Um, I've I have wind pictures, chill even lower. I have pictures on my Instagram of it being one degree in my car, so I'm fine. Happy Advent. Um, so the Green Bay Packers won. Um, are you happy about that? <laughs> yeah, of course you I am. Your, go. I don't know what's up go with, with our, our, our sepia lighting, but you're wearing your your Packers I'm my, colors. My Jeep. Oh, and it's, so it is Advent. We've lit our third candle. Only one more candle to go. Yep. And so my Advent Advent gift is amazing. It is an S for for Spencer skiing. Oh, snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to put this on the tree that we did not have up. I know. Is it last year? Was it last year? Or just the first year? I think that was last year. Not the first year. No, because the first year we, we had started. had a Christmas tree here. We did in the whole season. All right. The first year we had a real Christmas tree. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, um, it is one word Wednesday and, and the word is initial. So that's why I, you got an initial for Advent. Initial. <laughs> it is one word Wednesday, baby. It is. And uh, on one word Wednesday, we pick a word, we chat about it, you know, chat about anything. And maybe we bring some spiritual. We're chatterboxes. We'll bring some spiritual significance into it. Maybe not. Maybe we'll bring some real world knowledge. Probably not. All we oh do know is that we're going to have a good time. And how much better of a time could we have? Than talking about initials. Will that take us out of focus? I just saw it do something. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Okay. <laughs> Initial. Initial. As you, I introduced myself as a, as a VIP. They were initials. And I don't. I think that's an acronym. But the, aren't they it, initials? No, VIP? Think, uh, initials need to be like for a name. What's your initials? The initials. But don't yeah. initials make acronyms? And, yeah. Well, I guess the, the root of it is what are the initial letters of... Your name. Yeah. Initial meaning beginning. First. Because you say, what was your initial, uh, what's this thing like, uh, what was your initial impression when you went skiing or whatever like this? So it's the beginning of something. But um, also, you know, if you've ever signed a lot of paperwork, um, they'll say- I just need your initials. Initial here, initial there. Initial, initial, initial. And you just keep doing VIP, 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 VIP. And- it's not the same as putting your John Hancock, J O H N H A N N. No, um, and so it makes me think about faith. And as this is a spiritual podcast, sometimes we we put our our, our John Hancock on it. We put full across. You put your middle name, your confirmation name, you put Esquire at the end. But other times we're just initialing things, you know, like, yeah, you know, you say a shorter prayer or, or you, you, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like oh. a spiritual initial. And, and, and is, is that okay? You know, or do you always need your full and government approved, complete hyphenated and approved name? It's a great question. Yeah. Um, kind of goes to a lot of our, our previous podcasts, you know, with the brand, personal brand. Yeah. The idea of like branding your name, but you're saying the, the, a spiritual initial. Right. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, I absolutely agree with it. And, you know, I don't, I, it's, it's a tough question. I mean, it's, it's a pretty abstract question. I think it's okay. You think? I think, okay. I think it's okay Continue. because um, I'm guessing like fundamental fundamental religious in any of the religions would want you to do the full, full yeah. um, autograph, the full signature and they would frown upon. And then there's there are lots of times very frowned upon. They'll say, oh, that's light, you know, L-I-T-E or like you're not really being fully Jewish or fully christian or you make up uh, what, what do they say uh this kind of um cherry picking yeah. or like a buffet christian you're just picking and choosing what you like and and that could be looked at as like you know just initialing that i believe in these things yeah but i'm always saying i always say anything's better than nothing yeah keep uh. hope alive and there's also do you have to be we're, we're constantly changing. We're changing organisms. We're constantly changing. And the weather's changing and the people. And maybe you, your immune system's down and up. And it, 
so can't we can't we ebb and flow with our with our, with our belief not our belief really but our energy towards it so sometimes all we can do is initial and other times we're there yeah um hmm. a couple i mean yeah i definitely am for it i always am am aware of these things in, in religious where you hear people say like oh, i'm just culturally like yes. whatever religion they are and it's almost like there is a fear of saying like of saying you're part of it because it's right. like I, you don't want to make people think that like you're one of these fanatics right um that are doing and um so with initialing it's not exactly an initial but i'm going to compare it to like uh when when uh these people are are you know on on the sides on the boardwalks of Santa Monica Pier um i was just there and uh and <laughs> they they're walking around with like papers and saying can we get you to sign this petition and for you know saving the whales right 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 um over in japan right and a lot of times i was just i just kept looking at you because you do have shadows on your face i don't know how you feel about that yeah, that's fine <laughs> okay a lot of times the fear is what is this like are you going to be calling me like right uh, I'm, I'm i'm so i'm a busy person right i am i am not going to hop on a boat and save the whales myself and then like sometimes they'll like reassure you, it's like it's, we're just looking for names. Like, right. That's all we need. And, and the more you know, to show that there is support for this cause right. or whatever. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, this is, I'm just signing. Right. And you do want the whales to be saved, but you don't. And I think the nice thing about this, like, spiritual initialing is without spiritual initialing, and a lot of people do this, you either say, you need to be fully committed right. or you're out. And Here's the problem with that. A lot of people that I think I truly think a lot of people in this world right now would be more spiritual if there wasn't as many people saying you can't be Christian because right. you're gay. <laughs> like that's an extreme one, right? You dress a certain way, yeah. or yeah, but you're divorced, but or... yeah, I, but it's like okay, well then f you, right? I I I don't I don't even want to, right? But or there's a fear of even if you are supportive, it's. You have to caveat it, like, well, I mean, you know, I'm I'm a spiritual. I kind of believe in like my own religion, like, it's right. not, And the problem with that is you you are you are taking away people that do have something inside them that's searching for that and making it feel like either put your Jan, Jan Hancock or you're not part of this thing. But there's right. this, this idea of initialing. Um, that is is saying. Yeah, it's a petition. You know, it's like right. I, I I believe in that, and right. I want things to continue. And may, and you know what, I we always say you know lead by example and stuff. And I, f I find that with that small token of initialing, it brings people closer to fully signing. You know, John Hancock yeah. was a, a a a guy back in back in the day, and he was initialing a lot of things, right? Like. If you look at his life, his life path, I got him to the Declaration of Independence. He didn't just show up. He you know, walked out of a bar right. and walked in and signed. Right. It was he had like initialed so many things. You you got to a certain point. Right. That he was so emboldened. That was it was it, yeah. it was a bold thing. Yes. People we can talk with the old John Hancock, but if you look back at the history of it, he wanted the king to know that John Hancock right. signed this. Right. I'm not. It, it's a scary thing to go up against the biggest right. powerhouse in the world right. at the time. And the power to do yeah. that is so powerful. And it's like, it takes a lot of initialing to have that confidence. And so, you know, if, if you are always spiritually initialing things, you know, then yeah. the, you have emboldened yourself with, no, I, I will put in, I, I do believe in that. Right. I, I, I do like that Bible verse. I am going to get Matthew 310 tattooed on my arm <laughs> or whatever. I guess it's pretty intense. But. And then it's not this idea of lack of faith, lack of faith, lack of faith. And there will be no John Hancock. It, it takes a lot of time. And I, I think we should be bringing people into spirituality and and then you, you reap the benefits of it. Yeah. I think <clears throat> I, I kind of think of it as um, like bookmarking, you yeah. know, when, when you're um on the computer or your phone and it's like 
I like this. Or even if you save something, let's say on Instagram, I like this and I want to like, not right now, yeah. but I, I do want to revisit it. Yeah. So, you know, you just give it a kind of little boom. And it's the same thing. Like if someone really does tell you it's just initial here and here, it's like they're giving you the papers to take home. It's like fine print. It's for us. It's I you're admitting uh, you're yeah, you're acknowledging I gave this to you. Yeah. So it's like, OK, OK, OK. But I kind of like it because it is like um like a dot, dot, dot. I'm going to go back to this. Yes. And then I will probably fully support it, you know, with my full my full signature. Well, no, that's what I was. I mean, the, the other thing I want to say about it is if you look, think about those documents, right? Like, yeah. It does usually come to a, a grand finale, right? Like yeah. where you, you sign the entire document. Oh, at the with end, your, yeah. With your full name. Right. And, date, and so a lot of the witness. times, <laughs> like what you're saying of, um, you know, just saying a short prayer or just doing something kind. Right. All of these, even if it's not an active thing, like right. if you think of it like that, like where it's like your story of your spiritual life and, you know, at, at the very end of it, you sign it and this is my document. Oh, yeah. And then when you go back, it's, okay, well, you, you initialed here, 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 here. And it's like, Oh, if interesting. You, if you look at it, like all of these passive spiritual things you do are initial. Oh, you're saying like when I go around my life yeah. and I, anything, I yeah. pick up trash or I compliment somebody. Yeah. That I've put my spiritual initial on yeah, it. Yeah, right, right there. Oh, yeah, interesting. Right, right there. Okay. Pick up trash and, okay, I did that. I do that. And so a lot of people think of like three grand gestures. Okay. Like there's some denominations of Christianity that don't believe in that at all. Okay. And it's like. Do you believe in the in the um? Do you believe the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Boom, you're you're done. Okay. Big signature there. Gotcha. And I think we're more in the idea that you have a packet when you're born, and it's it's full of, of love and and spiritual life and in God, and everything you do is you're you're putting a little signature. That's interesting. And um, you know, and then the finally to end the packet, you put this was my life. And that's oh. where your full signature goes, right? Because you, like, you know, you're never thinking of, of big gestures when you do say a, when you say a small prayer. You're never patting yourself on the back, right? When you're tired and you're like, I'm rather running, like when, when you huff and puff at uh, a unhoused person walking by your car and give them a dollar after huff and puffing. You're not like I'm the greatest person ever, right? But and it doesn't matter because it's like all of those just initials, like. I didn't do anything grandiose, but I did these little spiritual all right. aspects. My, my initials were all over it. Yeah. Um. Would it Would it also work for bad stuff that you've done? Yeah, you know, maybe there's like the little Xboxes of have ever convicted a felony. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> just makes the employer just be like, okay, well they they did do a lot of charity, but they also um. Well, I mean, if your if your initials are on the good things you've done <laughs> in life, are I'm guessing your initials are also on the not so great things you've done in life but considering they're just initials maybe it would be less um acute uh, less of a less of a sentence because you didn't yeah, well, really and, and especially things you do without you know we talked before about doing the hurting people that we didn't know we hurt or doing yeah. the, you know what i mean well i mean that's what we always I mean, always say about sin right like i, I don't see it as condemn I, I don't really see it as condemning or being saved yeah like the same way just in relationships like well we talked before about when someone dies and, and you get hard on yourself about not having had a good interaction about the last time you saw them we fought and then they died and they're, yeah, they're, yeah. they're always and, I, and you know the thought behind it was it's not about that because well how many things have you done that have shown you love them right there isn't this idea of saved and condemned right it's you've done you, you do so many good you do sin so like when people say you're a sinner it's like you know, I'm, I'm also a, a, a spiritual good do-gooder and and it, it's you can and that's sort of why you can never screw up too bad because the there's balance in the world right and however you know the uh what game was it there was there was just a the the, the vikings versus the colts okay okay the colts were up 33 points in the first half the that's never before in history has a deficit like that been beat. Okay. When you're up 33 and a half, they lost to the Vikings 36 to 33. The biggest comeback. And you, know, you always talk about that of like the idea that 
if they scored 33 in the first half, it means it's possible to score 33 in the first half. Let's go right. do it. All right. And when you, when you look at it like that, you can never truly be like, and that's why it's like, it's not up to us to judge because how, however many bad things someone does, how many good things are, are you counting right. that? Right. Are you, are, there's only one person who's keeping tally. Right. Is, is God. And so all we can do is same with, <laughs> same with sports is have a, have a learn from your mistakes, have a short term memory. Don't, don't ever think, a game as soon as you think a game's lost that's when you see people saying you you heard it and and some people will say well yeah I, I, if there is a hell i'm going to it right and when you it's well, too late for me yeah, like that. yeah yeah and it's it's that idea of when we're down 33 points why should i even play the second half right it's cuz well, why not I mean, you, there. you can you can do so much more good if you put your initial on a bunch of things um, do you know that it, you can go around legally um, as your middle name and then just sign? So you're you're Spencer Thomas Cartier. Y- you can put S period Thomas Cartier and you can just go around your life and people call you Thomas and it's legal. Like you don't have to change it or anything. Uh, and you just put the S on the f- front. Um, you could do it with any name, but. Isn't there something like that? Like F. Scott Fitzgerald or something? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, C. Thomas Howell. You brought up the outsiders. That was oh. um, Pony Boy. S. Thomas Cartier. Yeah, and uh, you know anybody else with the, with uh, initials as a name? Um, C. D. Lamb. <laughs> Who's that? He's a uh, football player, but I think that's just using two initials. Yeah, like like uh, oh, just the two initials. Well, yeah. Oh, right. P. J. Um, AJ, AJ, I feel like he's probably the most common one. AJ, oh yeah. Um, um, LJ, I knew an LJ. Did you? Oh, you know these real people? I was thinking like 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 TI or something. Oh, you never hear of TI outside of TI. No. And I like I don't even know if that's anything to do with his name. Oh yeah, it's probably some rap name. Yeah. Well, AI. AI, that's first and last too. Hmm. You need to do things where like if if your name is. Preston James is, is is Aaron Aaron Jones Carter, <laughs> Aaron Carter, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> rest <laughs> you, in peace. You're like I'm gonna be AJ Carter. I said Preston James, and you yeah, just crossed he, over. Yeah, you could be PJ, PJ if you wanted right. to. You could be no, you don't have a middle name, huh? You don't have a middle name. I don't have a middle name. No, um, you know BJ is an is a, this, maybe we'll take that one out. But you know that's a real name people use for <laughs> yeah. people go by and people go by Dick. My grandfather. Was a dick. Uh, grand, Grandpa Dick was always sick and never saw a doctor. <laughs> BJ and the Bear, which I think we talked about before as well. It was an old show back in the day. Uh, back with with Spencer. Isn't um, B, BJ Novak? Wait. Oh, yeah. BJ Novak from B, the, office. the Office. Yeah. Yeah. What was your guy's name? Spencer for Hire. He didn't Spencer have a Spencer for Hire. Yeah. No, it was Spencer with an S. Spencer. But, yeah. Um, I was going to talk about, you know, we could have usually when we have words like that, we would then transition into other ways to use it. Okay. So like the initial getting into spirituality and stuff. But right. no, maybe we'll do that for another day. Because this right. was just, an, this wasn't a signature podcast. <laughs> this wasn't an initial podcast. You know what I mean? We're getting now. We're counting down to Christmas, baby. We're way closer than 12 days. Yeah. Well, this is the fifth day. Wait, or do you go backwards? So would this be the fourth? I don't one, one of the 12 days of Christmas. My true love. One, five. Do we know that song? Does it go? You know what's so funny? I'm not even going to talk about it. Watch last year's Christmas specials if you care, because we realized that we were doing it the wrong way. Oh, so we're okay. like it's the second day of Christmas, but it's like really it's starts 11th. with when the, when it's the the twelfth or the thirteenth. You count down. Count so down. Oh, how funny! It's the last day of Christmas. Peace.